Next up, we got NBA legends who hate each other. Wow. Very controversial video. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Hoop Flix. You know what I'm saying? Go subscribe. If you want more videos like this, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Legends have been to play with the Bulls. He's a horrible player. We didn't give a f about LeBron. We didn't feel LeBron and we didn't think that he can beat all five of us. Well, I mean, I don't give a f about Bron either. I got two more rings than him. Oh, that's, that's gotta be AI. No, 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 no. This is AI, bro. It's AI. It's no way LeBron, there's no way Michael Jordan said this. It's no way. I mean, I don't give a f about Bron either. I got two more rings than him. It's no way. It's no way. I refuse to believe it. What the fuck? What? Are NBA legends who hate each other. And I never thought I'd hear about NBA legends beefing over superheroes. Until I learned about the hate between Dwight Howard and Shaq. They were actually beefing over which one was the real Superman. Shaq first became a super fan of Superman when he began his career on the Magic. And super all because their team was ass, he damn near saved them like a superhero by dominating and helping them win games. So he literally got nicknamed Superman. That name completely took over his life moving forward, and you could tell when Shaq made his way to the Lakers. Shaq got Superman's logo tatted on him, got two Superman rings, designed his cars with Superman logos. Most right, seven-footers can't fit into sports cars, but I can, and I'm in there comfortably. And even Superman like painted his entire house with basketball courts, beds, fish I tanks, think seen movie this. theaters, and even a real-life replica of yeah, Superman in his this. backyard. This guy right here, he watches my doc. He's Superman. He sees you. This man's Superman fetish was real. But as Shaq's basketball career came to an end, another Legends was just beginning. Dwight Howard Dwight was not Howard. only becoming a superstar or superhero. When he came into the league, he was following in the he exact said, same footsteps as Shaq. So things got rims. heated fast. <laughs> Dwight started his career on the Magic, just like Shaq, was a dominant big man, just like Shaq. Dwight was even weirdly obsessed with Superman, just like Shaq. From having a custom Superman-themed bike, to also having Superman statues, and a painting of him as the black Superman. This dude even trains while he's dressed as Superman. It seemed like Dwight was on a mission to actually become Superman at this point. And things got wilder than ever during the 2008 Slam Dunk Contest, where he did something so super, it became one of the most iconic moments in NBA history. He's gonna put it on, right? <laughs> Can he even do that? Is that... they allow that? I thought you had to wear your jersey. He's in the building. He's got the cape moving. You gotta do some sweet shit now. Wait, how did he jump so high? This nigga really jumped that high. Oh, that was a layup. That was a layup. After the world saw that, everyone knew who the real Superman was. What the fuck? And Dwight even admitted it became his new nickname. I got the nickname Superman from Soldier Boy. Because he had a song called Superman. So I used to lift crazy weights. Right. How much could you be? Four something. Four thirty. What the hell you need to be is that? Basketball or weight like two pounds? You're right. That's what right. my free throws was like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the way your free throw was like that before. No. <laughs> But after Shaq <laughs> heard that, there was no way he was going to let that slide. Shaq up, tried to John do John? whatever he could to make Dwight seem like super trash. Like when he claimed other centers around the NBA who were ass played better than Dwight. Dwight knew the real reason Shaq was hating, though. He's mad about Superman. I didn't know Superman came from Shaquille O'Neal. He's still mad about it. You know, I was He's beefing over Superman, Superman. not a real person? <laughs> and yeah. Dwight really clowned Shaq while wearing glasses that made him look exactly- These niggas arguing over who can glaze the artist, bro. This is a glaze off by the game. What the fuck? Like the nerdy dude bro. who turns into Superman in the movies. So all cause of that, Shaq right, dropped bro. the diss track. Like I said before, you will get devoured. But don't you ever call me Dwight Howard. That's that boy in the prom. Huh? Huh? Who the hell is the real Superman? Oh. Who the best of the best? I was born with the S. I'm done. Now just think about that. A grown man was really freestyling about how he's the real Superman. I already thought this shit was getting out of hand. Then Shaq photoshopped a pic of him postering Dwight during a game with the caption saying, There can only- Bro, what the fuck is going on? Who flicks, bro? What? No, no. Would he actually post this? Do me like this too, Shaq. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. <laughs> And then he got a tug out and shit. Like, bro, what is this, bro? What is this? 
only what be one Superman. Hashtag me. Now, part of me feels like Dwight actually liked a man on top of him like that. Yeah, I'm not gay. But yeah, Shaq he, was determined to make yeah, Dwight hate it by clowning that. him a million times on TV. A super travel by Superman. Slow reaction time here for Superman. <laughs> Superman pulls the chair on uh, himself. Check out this sick dunk by Superman. <laughs> then after he said all that himself, Shaq nah. reposted Dwight getting roasted by corny ass comedians or whatever mm -hmm. they thought they were with these jokes. Speaking of 2004, why that year they ain't let you play more? Hey. I ain't gonna lie, Dwight. You've been in the league for a long time, and we don't even know who the hell you play for. Oh, Lord. He tried with the Magic. <laughs> that was tragic. And then he tried with the Hawks. That's what he thought. <laughs> and then he tried with the Rockets. <laughs> they told his ass he need to stop it. After Shaq posted uh, that, Dwight fired back at him saying, we can have a roast battle if you want. I got 10 in the chamber for you. Which had Shaq clowning Dwight for having no rings when he replied, I only battle champions, little man. You ain't in my division. You in Charles Barkley division. Focus on getting that ring, brother. Now maybe that yeah. last sentence is exactly why Dwight rejoined one of the best teams in the league right after, the Lakers. Then not only recreated a Superman dunk at the dunk contest just to piss Shaq off again. Bro, I don't give a damn what he yes, had sir. on. It's only one. No, but I, man. Hey, listen, God goes These into a phone, comes out with Superman. a cape on with an S on his chest. What was I supposed to call him? Dwight Howard. <laughs> <laughs> After all that went down, Dwight did eventually become a champion, which Shaq told him to do. Dwight didn't play much to earn it though, and was crying after he accomplished the goal, so Shaq just had to send another shot his way saying, a lot of players bragged on their little Instagram like they were the reason they won a championship. Sit your ass down, you didn't do nothing. Front runner, bandwagon jumper, post one pick and sit your ass down, shut your ass up. Shaq was just never down to give Dwight any type of respect no matter what he did, all because of their Superman rivalry. But what if I told you an NBA legend hates LeBron James? Because he got the dude's entire life turned into memes. This ain't just a random old head. It's Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Oh, you know about this. Many claim is one of the NBA's greatest. Oh, you know about this. Which made me think he'd actually respect LeBron. Because not only is he also a GOAT, both of their basketball careers were nearly the same. Kareem was one of the greatest high school players ever. So was LeBron. Kareem was the number one pick in the NBA draft. So was LeBron. Kareem even made a crazy amount of all-star teams, was awarded MVPs, won championships, and even made his way to the Lakers later in his career. And I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. To all of that, so did LeBron. And ironically, that's what led to Kareem not only hating on LeBron, but becoming jealous of him. As LeBron came up and started becoming a basketball god, he climbed the record books while accomplishing legendary things. And it began overshadowing Kareem to the point where dude wasn't even mentioning GOAT debates anymore, even though LeBron hadn't accomplished as much as him. So Kareem already could I don't think they ever him. had him in GOAT debates though, did they? Did they ever have Kareem in a GOAT debate? I don't ever, I, it's always um, Le LeBron, uh, they don't really put Kobe in there, but sometimes you might see Kobe. Um, and Michael Jordan, bro. That's the top three they always argue over, bro. I never heard Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the greatest of all time. Only I think the only reason they probably say that is because he had the most points. You know what I'm saying? That might be the reason. But at the same time, like I said, he's 17 feet tall. Everybody back then was literally plumbers and fucking school teachers, bro. They didn't. They wasn't no hoopers. He was the only nigga that tall. No one can guard him. Let's be honest, bro. You know what I'm saying? So who's gonna stop him, bro? Who's gonna stop him? I hate much longer. Then when LeBron pulled off a clutch moment and celebrated by doing one of the most iconic and banned celebrations, the big balls dance, clearly his balls were bigger than Kareem's or something, because dude went on a rant. LeBron was fined $15,000 for doing a big ball dance after the Lakers win over the Pistons. Huh? For me, winning is enough. Why do you need to do a stupid childish dance and disrespect the other team on the court? It doesn't make sense. Goats don't dance. Uh, goats don't dance? Man's dementia must have been kicking in because Kobe did the <laughs> same celebration before and Michael Jordan's documentary is literally called The Last Dance. The same celebration before and Michael Jordan's documentary. What in the fuck is this, bro? Now, I was actually going to react to this video, but I'm like, I'm going to wait. If y'all want to see this video, let me know, bro. Hey, fucking yo. Documentary is literally hey, called yo, The Last Dance. Obviously, Kareem was just taking shots at LeBron for no reason. And a few weeks later, he got even more pissed at nothing when a... Uh, 
deadly illness was taking over the world, and LeBron kind of made a big joke out of it on Instagram with memes by comparing COVID-19 to the common cold and captioning the post, help me out, folks. Now, I was surprised that <laughs> old dude Kareem even knew how to work a phone Bruh, enough buddy. to see that post, but he was pissed because he's always been a <laughs> surprised that? that old dude Kareem even knew how to work a phone enough to see that post, <laughs> but he funny. was pissed because he's always been a strong voice towards real world issues. Why he say it like that? Nigga, what you, you gotta go pee or some shit? Nigga, like, he nervous. He look like he get taunted right now. That's what it like. Somebody literally forced him to watch LeBron be better than him. He felt LeBron was spreading misinformation and being a bad role model he like by always downplaying the virus. Shit. So Kareem not only said LeBron was just plain wrong and that LeBron's meme was a blow to his worthy legacy, reports also came out that Kareem said some of LeBron's actions are beneath him and that some of the things he's done, he should be embarrassed about. LeBron didn't even need to respond though, because he knew he was closing in on one of Kareem's most legendary records ever, the most points scored in NBA history, and new passing oh, so the top is, so the most the top. legendary records ever, the most points scored in NBA his okay so kobe up there okay of course of course uh mike shaq and kd okay nice Nice. And new passing that would be the ultimate payback for the hate. So when everyone was anticipating LeBron breaking the record soon, of course Kareem was being brought up to him. Do you have any thoughts on Kareem? And also if you have a relationship with him? No. No thoughts. And no relationship. And after Dang, that, I didn't another know this one really of the most happened. legendary players ever, also one of Kareem's ex-teammates, Magic Johnson, even knew Kareem was salty his record might get tough. How do you think he will handle that? Well, I, I don't think well. Damn. I mean, you know what I mean? Let's just be honest. You know, it's funny, bro, because it was all a meme when um, when he actually broke it and stuff like that, and, and Kareem was looking all salty. It was all a meme, because I'm just thinking he, that's just because he old, he might got something going on. That's why he looked like that. He just, it's hard for him to express feelings or something like that. But it's literally serious. He's literally mad. He's literally mad. Okay, that's crazy. Damn. Damn. And I it was just a joke, the bro. fact that it's that's a crazy. new plan for the Lakers, right. too. I think it'll be a hard pill to swallow. He eventually... Because he's had that record for almost 40 years, Kareem. And, and I think he thought he was going to have it forever. <laughs> now, yeah, the history wasn't about to get made, though, until February 7th, 2023. LeBron walked in dressed in all black like it was a funeral because he was about to kill this old man. Funny enough, though, Kareem actually decided to show up for the game. Once things got underway, LeBron kept scoring and was inching closer and closer to Kareem's record. So cameras kept zooming in on dude, and every time, this dude was looking salty as hell. Fans were posting about all the times he'd pop up on screen, and I swear, either this man was mad every time, or he was imagining that when LeBron was about to break the record, he'd run out and do this. LeBron James is shot at <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, what the fuck is that? Bro, that shit literally threw me off, bro. What the this old ass nigga, dog. I don't know. He said he still got it. Imagine he that still when got LeBron it. was about to break the record. What the he'd run out fuck? And do this. Yo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo. That is some funny shit right there. Either way, Yo. LeBron was eventually a shot away. Coming to the end of the third quarter. LeBron James, a shot in history. He's not even looking. He, he look. Uh, he ain't cracking smile the whole game. Scoring record now belongs to LeBron James. The all-time leading score. You have witnessed it. LeBron James. After breaking the most legendary record of Kareem's life, yeah, he congratulated LeBron afterwards, cause well, he damn near had to or he'd look like a bitch. Regardless, there's no way the hate will ever go away when now LeBron will forever overshadow him. But that hate doesn't come close to the rest of the players in this video. Like one player's beef with a legend made their own families fight each other. But before I get to that, I gotta let you know about a little secret about how to get you in on the action from this video's sponsor, DraftKings. Cause now that the season started, along with a brand new tournament, there's now a way to take your basketball love to a whole new level. Replace a brat for a shot you means you can out on the fiddle. It shouldn't even end. Cause Paul, thank you to my boys at DraftKings. But anyways, let's get back to hate that'll never end. Cause Paul Pierce's beef with an NBA legend got him clawed by the entire world. 
it shouldn't even be a surprise that there's tension between Paul and Dwayne Wade. Because their former I teams, the Heat and Celtics, were two of the best in the league at the same time. So a rivalry was sparked when it was a crazy game every time they played each other. And sometimes the two legends would damn near fight. Things eventually got crazier though when rumors spread that Dwayne was secretly trying to recruit Pierce's teammates to ruin their squad. And eventually one of the Celtics' the main players, Ray Allen, came to play with the Heat. This led to the Celtics never being able to beat them in the playoffs again, so the Heat went on to win a few more Ray championships. Allen, Ray was the first, while uh, Dwayne was thriving, first Steph Curry. Pierce slowly fell off, got traded over and over again, and was forgotten. Until dude became an analyst on TV and started wiling out by saying crazy things. We're just getting a taste of him. I'm like, I'm tired of getting a taste of him. I want the whole load. But one of the most ridiculous things he said sparked some hay. Paul, riddle me this. Who is the better NBA Player. That's easy. I can say that off the bat. That's me. <laughs> if you give me Shaq, if you give me LeBron, they did. They called the big three. And, 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 what are you if doing? If you right give now? me these guys early in my career, I'd be sitting on five or six championships. Easy. Now, I'm sure Pierce is like most of us, just trying to hype himself up in front of a thigh. We all know how he loves being around girls. Hey. No matter what he was trying to do with his comparison to Dwayne, bro, though, it's or so much going on he was trying video, to look, it only fun. ended up getting him cooked by just literally everybody. Dwayne Wade has three titles. You had one. Dwayne Wade was in the conversation as one of the top five, top ten players in the NBA. That was not Paul Pierce. And since Dwayne Wade isn't here to defend his honor, he's made all NBA first team twice. Paul hasn't done it. He made all NBA eight times to your four. Ooh. He's made all defensive team three times to I'm your zero. Rough. He's Damn. won one scoring title. You weren't able to win the scoring title. That's too bad. He has three rings. You have one ring. Ooh, three is bigger than one. Even Dwayne's wife jumped in to say this hate was wrong on so many levels. And after that, uh, of course Dwayne had to let us all know that Pierce was clearly just being delusional because of his hate towards him. You were talking earlier about what you've learned. I've learned that Paul Pierce is a jackass. Have you ever oh, wanted to just tell Paul to shut the f up? Very I mean, listen, rent is expensive in, in America, and I'm living right. rent free. It's documented. Uh -huh. I don't need to say anything. I'll let you guys go ahead and talk about all that stuff. And everybody mad that I was able to play with different guys, like just because I was able to play with Shaq. And then they would play with LeBron. It's not Damn. easy to play Damn. with guys, especially different styles. I got to learn how to play with all those guys. And I did. And so I'm Ayo. happy with my career. Ayo. And I don't Ayo. know who's not happy with theirs, but I'm sorry if you're not. But I'm happy with the way mine went. <laughs> Now, like Dwayne said, he actually likes living in Pierce's head rent free, but at least things haven't turned violent. Cause Damian Lillard's beef with the legend made their own families fight each other. Everything started in the 2019 playoffs when during an elimination game, Damian and his squad were up against Paul George and the Thunder. Both teams went back and forth to keep things close until there were only a few seconds left. Dame brought the ball up. Paul was guarding him cause well, he was one of the hey, best just, uh, defenders in the league at the time. Right and one play was about to spark some hay. A game-winning shot in Paul's face to end the series and Dame taunted him by waving bye-bye. That type of disrespect would have even hurt me. But at least I wouldn't have been making excuses in the post-game interview like Paul did. I mean, that's a bad, bad shot. I don't care what anybody says. That's a bad shot. But, hey, he made it. That story won't be told that it was a bad shot. No, all right. What? I don't know how dude could even say a shot that went in by one of the best shooters uh, in the league was a bad shot. But clearly dude was just salty and him saying that had Dame literally clowning his D. I literally work on those shots and I don't work on it so I can just come out and just shoot it for the whole game. I mean, for him to say that's a bad shot, I mean, that was, that's just kind of being a poor sport. Um, if anything, it was bad defense. Now, regardless of who thought was what, Paul was traded to another team, so if that didn't make him even more salty, what was about to happen next definitely did. When a rematch between Tight Paul and Dame was taking place, even though this time Paul was with his new squad, the Clippers, the game was once again close until the very end. Until Dame, one of the best free throw shooters of all time, stepped up to the line and had a chance to potentially close the game out. But here's where one of Paul's boys, one of the ugliest trolls in the league, Patrick Beverly, started messing with Dame. To see Doc disagree with the call, usually very supportive of the official. His first free throws of the day. Oh. Missed them both. Both. Dude missed both, even though he never does that. Clearly, Beverly and the boys thought they did something to make it happen, so they taunted Dame by doing dude's own signature celebrations back at him, by pointing at their wrist, meaning it was Dame time, and even waving bye-bye at him, like dude did a Paul not too long ago. So Dame clearly took this person. And it's funny, too, because um, 
I was gonna say when I first seen it earlier about the the Celtics. When I was a kid, right, and I told y'all I didn't watch I didn't watch NBA, but I always I like played the game. I played two K, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't watch it, so I just you know I was a whatever. When I seen Rajon Rondo, I used to think literally as a kid, I was thinking in my head, I'd be like, this dude is homeless, or this dude has no money. Because he just didn't have a haircut. He just looked bummy, bro. I don't know how y'all are NBA players getting paid millions and y'all look homeless. How does that even make sense? How? I've been waving bye bye at him, like due to how? the pull not too long ago. So Dame clearly took like he's snuck person. in the game. Going back to the beginning, like I missed two free throws at the end of the game, which is not something that I typically would do. You know, teams gonna be hype about it. Teams gonna talk trash, but it turned into a taunt, you know, to me when they started tapping the wrist and waving way after the fact. So when I was asked about it, I was like, shots being fired in my direction, I'm gonna fire back facts. Asking me about Patrick Beverly, who I sent him home before at the end of a game. It's Lillard, he got the shot off! Oh I sent him home. <laughs> Paul George got home. sent home by me last year in the playoffs. Lillard, oh, <laughs> So I basically do because I like talking shit. And after Dame said all of that, his quote went crazy viral when Bleacher Report posted it on the gram because it was during a time that Dame was facing opponents in the playoffs that he clearly wasn't going to be. So Beverly and George tried completely jinxing him Look by basically nigga, saying bro. he was going to get kicked out the playoffs and sent on like vacation. Beverly commented that Dame was getting sent to Cancun on three. Then Paul said, you're getting sent home this year. Respect. Now, Dame barely acknowledged Beverly because dude's ass. He just replied to Paul by clowning him for damn near going to new teams every time he loses by atting him and saying, keep switching teams, running from the grind. You boys is chumps. Now, I didn't think things could get any crazier than all that, but I'm a YouTuber, <laughs> not a pro hooper. So what the hell do I know? <laughs> Clearly the hate wasn't over when a fan tweeted one of Paul's horrible looking jump shots from the bubble, added Dane by asking if it was a good shot, and he responded by saying, looks good to me. Then when uh. Paul's squad ended up being the ones who pulled a Warriors special by choking a 3-1 lead in the playoffs, Dame tweeted at that homeless looking ass man who was clowning him earlier saying, hey, Pat Bev, I guess I should extend this Cancun invite since I haven't made my arrangements yet. At this point, the hate was for real for real. And you could tell when things got heated between the players' families afterwards. On Instagram, Dame's sister literally called up Paul and his wife. You can't talk. You got a whole stripper pregnant. Then you wipe the bitch. Then look at her lips. Look at her face. Come on now, baby boy. Don't, don't, because I'm getting personal with it. Wait, <laughs> she really clown girl like that? To be honest though, she's tripping because this girl's pretty bad. So I'm kind of glad she got involved to win the situation once and for all when she said, somebody come get this cow. Damn! Wow, she really said girl look like. <laughs> so this beef was over. And they're just lucky Steph Curry didn't get involved. Because this man's been shocking the world with record breaking shots, a wild controversy with Michael Jordan that kept him up at night, and the crazy. Uh... Just click it and find out.